Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Bitcoin and where it's heading next as we get closer to the election. So Bitcoin has been actually on a local uptrend going into now almost trading at 70K, a big change of pace from what had been happening really for a very long time this past year where Bitcoin had been really in a downtrend. So why is this reversal of fortune happening? Well, one major thing people have been pointing to is that we have a pretty big event coming up, the election. And what people have noted is that Bitcoin beginning to really start performing well has really coincided with a surge in the betting odds or the probability that the markets are signing to Trump winning. So I'm over here on Real Clear Politics and we're looking at their average betting odds across a bunch of different markets. Poly market you might have heard of, crypto-based betting market is included in this as well. And you see it was really back here in September, late September, early October, where Trump really started to take a commanding lead in the betting odds. Markets are becoming more and more confident in a Trump victory. And of course, because Trump has been the more crypto and Bitcoin friendly candidate of the two, that is maybe not a surprise that Bitcoin has started to do well kind of in that environment. Now, obviously, that's not going to be the entire picture, but people have noted a correlation between how Bitcoin performs recently and these election betting odds. Now, it's anyone's guess how Bitcoin could react after the fact, given a Trump or a Harris victory. I think in the short term, you could either get a sell the news type of event in the case of a Trump win, you could also get a sell off in terms of a Harris win. But then ultimately, the direction I think will be determined by broader factors. I don't think the election in and of itself is going to determine where Bitcoin goes. It's probably going to be a bit more macro focused. So from that perspective, then let's talk about what our models are seeing and how they dovetail into those different environments. How are they seeing Bitcoin sitting from a kind of broader perspective? And what could a catalyst like the election potentially do to Bitcoin's price action? So the first thing I want to talk about here is the trend confidence indicator for Bitcoin or TCI. So this is a model that, as the name implies, cares about trend. And really what I've talked about a lot is look at how the TCI is trending relative to price. You'll see in the past, for example, the TCI really start moving up aggressively, Bitcoin's price tend to follow. And then when it moves down aggressively, that's when you tend to get these corrections. And it kind of has done that in these waves, leading the way up, and then also showing when weakness is coming into the market. Now, notably, we've been stuck in this range for a while. And so, you know, you can look at these shorter term waves to kind of pick up when we've been going up and down and getting early indication of that. But I want to look at this broader trend that we're seeing on the TCI right here. Look at this broad uptrend we're seeing on the TCI going in, setting in a higher high, higher low, higher high, so on and so forth, all the way through. And I want to compare that to another point in Bitcoin's history that was back here in the summer of 2021. Now, this is a more aggressive move, and this played out more quickly than what's been going on this year. But look at this. Price had a big sell-off. We had this big bearish divergence between price and the TCI. We got the big sell-off. Then we got this massive bullish divergence as price was moving down. The TCI was shooting off to the upside, and indeed, that's when we ultimately went and rallied to the new all-time high, ending there in November. Now, what we're looking at here is obviously a less aggressive uptrend that we saw there, but an uptrend nonetheless, this big, broad, bullish divergence between price, which was trending down, and the TCI. That is a good setup. That is a setup suggesting that strength has been re-entering the market, can set you up for an explosive move, potentially. Another thing we can look at is our risk model, the upside downside potential indicator, or UDPI. So this model cares about risk. Higher levels mean higher risk. Lower levels mean lower risk. And you can see where we were is that as we got to the all-time high at around 74K, we got pretty extended on the long-term UDPI. And I was saying at the time that we are either just going to go off on a big parabolic move or we were going to get a notable local top, like we did, for example, in 2013, like we did, for example, here in 2019. And that's exactly what we got. Now, we didn't correct off of that nearly as far as we did those other examples but i think now it's very clear that was a notable local top we then had a consolidation and correction before we now started to move back up closer to 70k and risk cooled off as a result as we got down to those lower prices risk moved down all the way down to about negative 2.3 
Now that wasn't this deep, deep value zone like we've seen in the past that was just an obvious buy Bitcoin signal, but certainly much better than we were over there. And I was saying at the time, and I continue to say, what this is suggestive of is that we're no longer in the early stages of the cycle, very clearly. We're now getting towards the mid to later stages. And so if we get something like, for example, a Trump victory that really, at least in the short term, gooses markets, even if we do get a short term sell the news, I think it would be very reasonable to think that Bitcoin and crypto more generally would probably rally at the idea of a more loose regulatory uh, environment here in the United States. And then we get that kind of big move maybe into the end of the year. So maybe if you get a short term sell off in the beginning of November, that you might get that big run like we've actually seen very often with Bitcoin, that run that happens in November and December. We've seen that multiple times with Bitcoin, the end of the year being really strong in those rallies. We could get something like that and a catalyst could very easily be the election if Trump were to win. Now, if that were to happen, what we're seeing is that in the long-term EPI, even though we have moved up here, we've got room to work with. We've got plenty of room to work with to the upside. And if we were to get one of those big rallies ripping off to all-time highs, we'd be starting from a pretty familiar place. We've seen these rallies really kick off from similar risk levels leading into the end of cycles before. So I hear going into the all-time high, here going into the all-time high at that point, even back here, really we kind of moved up, consolidated, similar levels, that's when you then shot off to all-time highs. So it would not be unprecedented at all to see that happen from here. Now, that's assuming a lot of things kind of line up in that direction, but it would not be surprising to see something like that play out. And then finally, the last thing I want to talk about that really is pointing towards this being mid to late cycle, that if we get that kind of big move up, it very likely would be moving to that blow off top type of dynamic, or at least kind of getting up to a top that then is likely to correct at some point in the not too distant future is our forecast models. This is looking at the probability of upside six months in the future for Bitcoin, how likely the model thinks it is that the price of Bitcoin will be higher than it is right now uh, in six months versus going down. And so basically where we're at right now is right around break even. We're actually at about 0.4. So the model is actually overall bearish here. It actually thinks there's a greater chance of downside in six months than upside. But notably, when you look in the past, what the model tends to do is it tends to kind of get out in front of these big moves. You'll see it moving down before we got to the all-time high here, then really getting bearish at the all-time high. Same thing here, starting to really move down as we got into the all-time high then getting really bearish as we got there. And the same thing might be playing out here again. And that would really kind of dovetail with what we've been talking about. That scenario, that possibility that if we get a big catalyst, like for example, a Trump victory, that you could see that big move up. And what would probably happen in that moment is that people in that environment, like they do every single top, every single market cycle top, would probably say, oh, this time is different. Bitcoin can never correct again. Look at how different things are now. We have Trump in for another term. The regulatory environment is so different. We can't go down again. But that very well might just be the top. That when you get that peak euphoria, tends to be the case when you're actually at the top. And if the data were to play out this way, where we get the risk shooting off to the upside, up to the top of the scale, see the forecast model continue to move down aggressively, I would personally get concerned in that type of situation. So that's really what I wanted to talk about here, is that we're no longer in the early stages of the cycle. We might not even be in the middle stages of the cycle anymore. The data are suggesting that we're at the best mid to late cycle right now. And I think if we did get a big run into the end of the year and maybe early next year, I would personally be thinking it's quite likely that that is the cycle top or very close to it. Now, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love for this time to be different in that situation for it to actually be able to continue just going up, 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 up. I just don't believe that that's likely. I think this time being different oftentimes gets people into trouble. So that's where I really see Bitcoin being right now. I think we have a really important catalyst coming up with the election. And what plays out with it might really matter. I think a Trump victory, you might really see that blow off top maybe happen sooner because that would really get the market maybe potentially overexcited, let things get really kind of ahead of itself. That's where I expect long-term holders to really start selling aggressively into those higher prices. You might see more of a blow off top. A Harris win is a little bit more of an uncertainty. I think short term, it would not necessarily be bullish because the, uh, Harris has not really been very clear on what our crypto stance is. We don't know if it's just going to be more of the same or if it will get looser in a Harris environment or in administration. But certainly, I think in the short term, we might not see that. 
What you could though maybe see with the Harris uh, presidency if she doesn't decide to go on full anti-crypto is maybe a slower move where maybe as long as we don't see a recession, as long as the macro remains bullish, then maybe Bitcoin does start moving up, but it's less aggressive, it's slower. And so you don't just rip off to the top of the risk scale right away, you actually grind up more slowly. And ironically, if that were to happen, you might actually end up seeing higher prices for Bitcoin than if you see something like, for example, a total mania fueled by a Trump victory shooting off way too quick and way too ahead of itself, which is kind of an interesting way of looking at it. Now, some people would say I'm crazy to think that Bitcoin would go up in a Harris administration and that that's just wishful thinking. But I don't know. Bitcoin specifically is one that's kind of minted itself or solidified itself as being a commodity. I mean, even this current super anti-crypto SEC is not really talking about Bitcoin as being a security anymore. So I think it's an open question for altcoins if they could do anything impressive in a Harris administration. I think it's much more uh, plausible to say that altcoins would really struggle and not do well under a Harris administration. But for Bitcoin, I think you actually could still see some notable upside in that situation. So it'll be really interesting to watch. I think we're going to see a lot of volatility around the election when it happens, especially depending on who wins. But then I think things are set up very interestingly, and I would not be surprised in the case of a Trump win to really get that kind of four year cycle to play out again, see a really strong move in, into the end of the year, and then maybe setting in that all time high, that market cycle top, that blow off top, really getting to the high levels on risk over here. The Harris win, that's where it becomes a little bit more uncertain. And that's one where I think we'd have to really watch and see what the data start looking like to see how that might play out. All right, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us over on X. A lot of updates about our models and more over there. And you can go to our website, PluritiDigital.io to see live data from our models and more.